इस समय अरुण जेटली सीएनबीसी टीवी एटीन के द इंडिया बिजनेस लीडर अवार्ड्स को संबोधित कर रहे हैं आइए देखते हैं क्या कहते हैं देश के वित्त मंत्री अरुण जेटली एंड द मार्केट स्पेशली Well, the convention has always been that the election year budget uh, normally is an interim budget, and uh, ordinarily there should be no reason why we should uh, move away from that convention. Uh, uh, but uh, then the larger interest of the economy always dictate uh, what goes into that interim budget, uh, 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 and that's something which uh, really can't be discussed or disclosed at this stage. I understand, I understand sir but sir. what are going to be the priorities that you intend to focus on you said that uh, ordinarily it's a vote on account but you need to factor in the considerations of the economy uh, are these ordinary times or are these unusual extraordinary times that merit a change in convention well i'll tell you uh, it it entirely depends on uh, what the existing situations are and uh, if we look at the big picture Uh, uh there have been uh, successes that we've seen in the last few years there have also been challenges and therefore without getting into the specifics because that would really be disclosing uh, the mind into which we we are working uh, uh some of those challenges uh, really can't uh, uh, afford to wait and therefore obviously there would be a necessity to address some of them it's happened in the past uh, and therefore we intend uh, working within the parameters uh, of the conventions as they exist sir there has been uh, and i asked this question of your colleagues uh, a short while ago but uh, i think it's more appropriate to put that question to you uh, there's a lot of talk around the possibility of fiscal expansion and i know that as recently as a blog that you wrote about uh, 48 hours ago you said that you pride yourself in the fact that you've stuck to the path of fiscal consolidation and fiscal discipline do you believe that the situation today warrants some fiscal expansion You see, I personally always held the view that, uh, in a larger context, uh, uh, fiscal prudence and fiscal discipline is something uh, uh, which gets uh, rewarded in the larger interest of the economy. Of course, there could be unusual situations where you will have to fill the gaps in certain areas, and you will have to increase the expenditure. But so far, uh, uh, we are now very close to completing five years of our first tenure, and we've stuck to that uh, uh, line. now when governments in the past have not stuck to it we've seen the consequences the consequences of this uh, on currency the consequences of this on inflation the consequences of this on investment of the ratings uh, as also and therefore when we came to power we inherited uh, 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 a fiscal deficit of about 4.5 4.6% and uh, gradually the effort has been to be on a glide path and therefore slowly but surely we've been moving on that glide path unless of course some unusual situation arises for instance last year was an unusual situation where we had the gst revenue only for 11 months and we had to really make the expenditure for the full 12 months and therefore from 3.5 i intended coming down to 3.3 last year itself but because of a one month Uh, absence of an ex- uh, of a tax revenue of the gst we couldn't afford to do that so that was an exceptional situation which i am sure the markets also understand and therefore uh, i i certainly do understand the importance and of course uh, deviations are possible only if extraordinary circumstances exist and those are extraordinary circumstances which for analysts for global players for domestic players are relatively easier to understand So when you talk about these extraordinary circumstances uh, uh you know would would the would addressing the agriculture sector would addressing the needs of the farmers today which is being speculated about that there is a multi-pronged package that is likely to be announced shortly perhaps uh, even in the vote on account i know you can't say much on the timing of it but is that something that would require a significant uh, uh, amount of uh, allocation in terms of funding and and is that really something that the government is working towards well i i i really can't announce any decision uh, uh, sitting here thousands of kilometers away but uh, uh, all i can tell you is that uh, the farm sector from the very data itself as it indicates uh, has been facing challenges now the challenges are of a nature that our farmers have hugely increased productivity 
and we moved it to a surplage era. Now that surplage era and the management of that surplage is constituting a broad challenge for us for the last several years. The prices have fallen. Even today, if you look at the last few months, uh, food prices is something which have actually gone down in, in India. And that reflects on the kind of money that the farmers get. And therefore, whether it's a situation...